Welcome to This Is My Architecture. Today we're talking about banking at scale with Srimanth from HSBC. What does HSBC do? HSBC is one of the world's largest banks and is seventh in terms of market assets and capitalization. Fantastic. Now you've solved some really interesting scale challenges with your architecture. Tell us about what you've solved here. We have solved the primary problem of scaling. One of the biggest problems today about any institution is how they scale scaling. So when you usually up deploy applications on-prem and suddenly you burst out, you run out of IP addresses and infrastructure. So what we have done is that we have created a smaller side of block and a larger side of block in two different VPCs. And one of the problems is that you could have created a simple VPC, gone to the network team and said, give me an IP range of 1,000 IPs. But guess what? You scale, you run out. And you scale again, you run out. So you have to draw a line. So how we have done it is that we went to the network team, got a sm smaller CIDR range, and applied that CIDR range to a set of proxies. And then we created a larger CIDR block, and then we scale out our lambdas within the larger VPC. So you're running big scale workloads here. You're running lots of lambdas, which obviously consume IP addresses. You're also running EMR clusters, Kinesis, a whole lot of things. How does the flow work? Correct. So what happens is that in this, we have created a slash 16 IP address ranging, which gives us 65,000 IP addresses. So any of the services that want to connect back to the bank actually talk through the private VPC endpoint that we have created. The private VPC endpoint connects to the proxies, and the proxies connect via direct connect back to the bank. This way, they can all communicate back to the bank with separate segregation because you have a larger VPC separately. So you've got the ability to deploy workloads but transit safely in and out of the bank's network environment. Correct. And guess what? If you run out of 65,000 IP addresses, we create another VPC and connect it to the proxies. That way you could just scale out. Just keep scaling and scaling. Correct. And what about on this side? You've got an interesting sort of similar pattern going on here. That is very similar to what we have done here, but on the reverse side. What that enables us is that the proxies are actually controlled by a separate security team. And the security team whitelist all the domains that the proxies can talk to which means the entire information flows from lambdas to the VPC endpoint, to the proxies, to the internet gateway, which talks out. Uh -huh. A simple example of push notification that a service can then talk through that and goes out. So you can apply this to many different patterns though, that you might Correct. want to solve. Another distinct advantage of this is that not every service right now has a VPC endpoint within AWS. But then you could implement this pattern to whitelist the AWS services you want on the proxies, which means you're still private and you're not connected to the internet. So this has solved for the bank a number of challenges around scale and the ability to have really secure uh, network access and separation of duties. But what else has it brought to the table? What we have done with this is that in terms of deployments, we have three types of deployments through Terraform scripts and SAM templates. The first deployment, it configures the networks, does the CIDR blocks, and all the plumbing work. The second Terraform script builds the infrastructure. And the third Terraform script deploys the code on top of the infrastructure. This is done through CI CD. And it's actually built once, and then the code is promoted through the environment. But what this has brought to the table is that we can grow faster to markets wherever there's an AWS region. So if you want to go to that market, if there's an AWS region, we just deploy the scripts and it's up and running. Just a few hours and you're good to go. Brilliant. Correct. What a great solution. Thanks so much for sharing architecture with us today. Welcome. And thanks for watching. This is my architecture.